Hey, what is up guys? Seth here, coming at you with another episode of Sun and Moon. Now, uh, while we were gone, I, I did uh, do a little grinding for Tentacool. And, actually, I actually ran into a Crabrawler while picking up some berries. So, I thought about it and we're going to decide that's a static encounter. So, every time that we encounter a Pokemon... Like in special cases like the berries, the Crabrawlers. Or like in other spots where you like instant, like where you're forced to meet a Pokemon at certain points. Then we're just going to count that as its own encounter and we'll be able to get a new Pokemon through Wonder Trade. Okay, so let's get into the video. Today we're going to be facing Hala, the uh, island Kahuna, or Melee Melee Island. And we're finally going to get this done today, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing what moves in you and your Pokemon will pour into the, your soul into now that you've gone and cleared your first trial, Beth. I, is it true? I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been, but even I think it's a great achievement. Honestly, it wasn't really hard. We just used, uh, oh my god, Minior Rollout. That was, it's just easy as that. But pew, stay in the bag. The Mele Mele Kahuna, the, <clears throat> the Mele Mele Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who uses fighting type Pokemon to the fullest, yeah. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves, yeah. Which I actually think we're gonna, we're gonna lead Butterfree because it's a flying, flying Pokemon that knows a psychic move and a flying move, so... Let me check that out real quick. Uh, we gotta, we gotta put Butterfree up first, and I think she has the Citrus Berry. So like, in case he's a real threat, and like actually almost kills my Pokemon, like we'll have we'll have something to put up with it, or like help. I gotta get this refocused, guys. Um, no, okay, I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. Congratulations on clearing your trial in the Verdant Cavern. Good work. I suppose you're here to battle with the Kahuna. Why, yes, I am. You think you and your Butterfree are ready for me, Beth? Definitely. Butterfree's gonna destroy you. I've been waiting for this. Let's go. Let's 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 face let's face him. Ooh, ooh, ha, ho! I mean, I have been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? Uh, as soon as my phone decides to focus, because it just loves going in and out of focus. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're not gonna, okay. We gotta, no. I apologize, again, like, I probably apologized a million times about the quality. Okay, but. The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Beth, you have entrusted, you have been entrusted with the sparkling stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me your you and your uh, partner Butterfree and your team's full power. Old Hala is here to make your Hala. No, just kidding. Old Hala is here to will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Ooh, so it's time to finally do the grand trial. We're facing the old man Hala. You are challenged by Island Kahuna Hala. And you send it out Mankey. So we're going to start with Butterfree, like you probably already know. Since it is a flying Pokemon, and it knows Psybeam and Gust, so we're just going to go with the Psybeam. Oh, Mankey used Pursuit. Well, I'm not switching out, sorry to tell you. But it's probably going to destroy its life. And do we... No, we don't one-shot it. Let's just go for Gust. Why do you keep thinking I'm going to switch out? Uh, 
But anyway, we, we, we took care of that pretty easily. And I think all we're basically going to do in this is we're going to, uh, we're going to do the grand trial and then we're going to trade off that crib brawler that we caught earlier. Okay, so he's going to send out Makuhita switch. Um, actually, I don't think I need, meh, I, I think I'll give Spiro some XP since I turned EXP share off because many are always getting too high of a level. It, st it started not listening to me, which is my fault. I mean, I shouldn't. I should have stopped using it all the time. But anyway, here we got Makuhita, and we're gonna go with Aerial Ace, which is gonna do 60. Oh, he's gonna fake out. He's gonna make me flinch. Dang it! Let's go for Aerial Ace again. And do we kill it? Yes, we do. We one shot it. Wait, what? Wait, what? It. It. What? I. Did it survive? Oh crap, please don't die. Okay, good. You're eating your berries. That's good. It's good to eat your berries. Crap, it like... Ooh. I did not realize it It survived on one. So let's just go for an echoed voice. Just cause... I want to. For Brawler, we're gonna switch. We're gonna go into Mini War and do our regular just rollout equals victory. I like the Blue Mini War. The Blue Mini War is cute. I'd actually prefer a different one, like maybe like orange or yellow. I mean, I, I don't care either way, but it's just we're gonna, uh, I guess, rollout's not very effective. I didn't realize that. I'm stupid, guys. But this should... No, that did nothing. Oh, crap. If we lose Minior, I'm going to be so sad. Please, don't lose Minior. Please, you can take this all-out pummeling, right? It shouldn't be very effective since you're part flying. Hmm. This should do nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm right. That did nothing. But I'm kind of stuck in the rollout. I did not realize how little that would do. It does significantly more. You using Leer. Okay. Different strategy. I thought he'd keep attacking. Gonna lower my defense. Yeah, that did. That did quite a bit, actually. Oh, it's going for more defense drops. As soon as we get out of this rollout, we're gonna like, uh, I think like one or more, two, two, one, two, one or two more times, except it's gonna kill it. Is it? Yep. We win. We destroyed old Hala. We made him Hala. Whoa, well played. We see $2,400. That's a lot of monies. Ho 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 The result came no surprise to me. What a fine trainer. And what fine Pokemon too. Dapu Ko 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 Ho Ho and our mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Hmm. Maybe Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come where you will go grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except this Z crystal, it allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. And look at that, guys! We're gonna get the Phytinium Z. Mm, we're gonna do all pumbling if we ever get a Fighting type Pokemon in this Wonder Trade, cause you never know what you're gonna get. You don't. So there we go. We completed that Grand Trial, and I am happy that we finally beat this. You obtained Phytinium Z. Observe, Beth. If you wish to use the Fighting Z move, move your arms like this. Okay, we're gonna get ready. Oh, crap. And... Sorry. Be like this. Oh, mm, can... Great.
great. It was like, it was actually doing pretty good for a time. Okay, we're gonna move our arms. Then bend your hips like this in pose. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh, whip. You whipped. Now then, Breath, with this victory, you have cleared the trials of Mele Mele Island, the first of the Alolan Islands. The Mele Mele stamp will prove of your accomplishments. With this Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in the trade will obey you. Sweet. So now we don't have the fear of Minior not obeying us anymore. Oh my god. No. Can we focus? Mm, no. Okay. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue your island challenge, consider what makes up the uh, people and Pokemon that you meet. Both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. And with that, we're gonna... Wait. That's right, we gotta get the ride pager. Whoa there, Tauros. I've got an idea. How about I see that you can ride my Pope Tauros whenever you like. No reason why he shouldn't be able to get to enjoy the island challenge too. I'll take care of all this, all the little things you need to order to ride a Pokemon, Beth. And with that, we get the ride pager. I know you can't see the text, but it's the ride pager. Why don't you hop on there? We'll call our Pokemon and look at that. We get Tauros the Ride Pokemon. That's so cool. The world looks a bit different from a top of Mighty Tauros, eh? See, er, see, Beth? Here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us the strength and let us ride them. Let me explain some of the gear I've gave you. Your Ride Pager is a tool that lets you summon a Ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only to press Y and turn on your ride pager, then use the B button to dash. And your riding gear will be a special outfit that you wear when you're riding Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charming you'll be charming by him. When you use your ride pager, ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you wherever you may be. Okay guys, so we're oh no more. Congratulations, that Beth. Oh. I hope you find the ride pager useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z power. I mean, all I really had was Z defense curl. I mean, it wasn't much. But... Let's have a Pokemon battle when the next time. When next time we meet. Very w or very well then. Off on your island challenge. You may go, may the, or you go, may the future bring you happiness. Is this, is there, oh my gosh. Alright, Beth. With a little help from Tauros, you can smash the right, right through the big rocks on Route 1. Alright, I got a little something for you too. And we're going to get the TM for False Swipe, which is going to be very helpful in catching Pokemon. If we had a Pokemon who could learn False Swipe. Okay. False swipe is a move that lets your po opponent with 1 HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon, yeah? And tell Rotom all about it. But first, you gotta go let your mom know what you're up to. When you're done with that, head on down to Marina in Howoli City. Oh yeah! Alright, time to get the boat ready, uh, Lily. You gonna help me clean it? Oh, more dialogue. Um, I actually wanted to ask you a favor for your first, Beth, if, if that's alright. Uh, what is it? 
you see, Nebby is, it's, its real home is far away from here, and I want to help it get back to its home. It's like I told you before, Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel there's not much I can do on my own, since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I, if I had a real trainer, like, like you, helping me, Beth, then maybe. But I probably shouldn't even ask a near stranger to help me, right? I know I'm just... I'm a, I know it's just my own wish, and it, it really has nothing to do with you. Of course I'll help. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad I really don't didn't know what else to do. Then, I suppose, the two of us will be heading to the next island together as well. Pew! Okay, so finally they're letting us go from all the dialogue. And we're going to take a quick break and get to uh, uh, Wonder Trade in that Crabrawler. Okay, guys, so we're back in the Wonder Trading area. We're going to be trading off Ali the Crabrawler. And let's get to it. Let's trade them off and see what we can get. I really actually want a Pokemon that no that's either fighting or can learn False Swipe. Like maybe a level 1 Scizor. Or not Scizor, uh, Scyther. That'd be cool. <sighs> but let's see who wants to trade. Anyone right now? But guys, I can't believe we're already through the first island. This is only like day three of recording. Like, it's crazy. Uh, are we going to find anyone? It's already like 40 sec, 50 seconds into it and we haven't found anyone. Uh, are we actually not going to find anyone? Is no one going to want to trade right now? Uh... We have 30 seconds left. I mean... Can we find someone, please? Oh, there we go. Athena from Minnesota, United States wants to trade. And she says she wants shiny Pokemon. Well, sorry to upset. We're not giving you shinies. We're giving you a crawler. And in a, uh, <gasps> yeah, we got a rock ruff. I, pre I, I was like, oh my, it'd be nice to have a rock ruff or something like that. And I was just like, oh, hey, look, let's give you a rock ruff. That's so cool. This is probably going to be low leveled. Um, hoping. And we're going to add that to the Pokédex. Oh, that's so cool. I wanted a rock ruff. I mean, I want, I want all the Pokémons. I want all of them. I want all the Pokemons. But there we go. Uh, I think that's going to wrap... Oh, actually, I got to check. I mean, there's a small chance that it is too high leveled. The, I guess the cutoff would be like 25 right now. I think Rock Ruff... Yeah, it's level 1. It's good. Oh, and it knows Fire Fang and Sucker Punch. That's going to be good. So this thing is going to chill in the PC until I really need it. But I think with our team, our team looks pretty solid. Except for the fact that we have three flying types. Which is going to make Olivia's trial really hard. Unless uh, by, like, God forbid, some one of these guys die. Then I guess I just probably... Temporarily trade him out for uh, Rock Ruff. Get him up to level and then. Yeah. I guess that made Hollow's Trial not too hard. Because I had three flying types. But um, anyway, that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. With all that, have a good day. Alola.